Do you remember that guitar that I said I really don't want to strip it? Well, I took out the heat gun and I got on it and started working anyway. Darkened the wood in some spots that I am not going to be able to sand off, so... Uh, and apparently it is a, a, a maple cap on some kind of denser wood that, I mean, you know, in the literature it says that this is maple over mahogany. I don't know what this is they're calling mahogany, but it is definitely not as dark as I would expect it to be. I'll tell you this, the Gibson pickups aren't going in. Now that I've had a better look at this, I'm not putting Gibson pickups into this. I'm going to do something... I'm going to do something with this guitar. I'm going to do something cool with this guitar. I took these out because I'm either going with a stop bridge. I'm going to fill this in. I will either, I'm going to end up painting this guitar. The wood grain was never going to show. And fortunately, it was actually really well grain filled before. So that's one thing that uh, I won't have to redo. I'm going to have to do a little glazing putty in here. I was looking at this the other day, and I was just looking, I was thinking about, you know, could, this could actually be covered, I don't, I'm, well, this pickup design could be modified, and I could actually, I don't, I'm not thinking, I don't want to open up this pickup area, but man, I could do, I could cut this to fit the body, just get rid of the holes, uh, figure some way to design this around the other volume pot that's probably going to be right about here. Um, and just put a neck and bridge pickup like a telly. And then uh, tailpiece. And make it to... Uh, oh, Mama's home. Make it a sort of Les Paul telly tailpiece. Um, it would be a, I think I would name it Transfender. You're still alive. I, yeah, I, uh... You know, the more I think about it, the more I like that idea. Uh, a transgendered Transfender. I'm, I'm, I'm actually liking this more and more. And I have a choice of necks, although, gosh, if I was really, if I was really going to do that, it should have a fender headstock on it, shouldn't it? I think so. And that means, well, that means we're going to have to be going out to a 25 and a half inch scale. I think I'm going to build this trans fender and then give it away to the guitar community figure out some way to, and, I don't, and listen, you'll have a pretty good chance because I don't have a lot of viewers. <laughs> okay. And I'll figure, I'll figure out some really unique way to, to give away the transfender, maybe some ongoing thing, I don't know. I need to make more videos anyway, and I need to make more interesting videos. Um, uh, I thank you, my, those of you who have stuck with me, uh, the I, 40 or 50 or so of you who, uh, you know, who kind of are hanging with me there. I appreciate that. Oh, no. This might actually work. I find that good, expensive measuring tools are always worth the money. Had to uh, make a run to the hardware store for some motorcycle. Well, for some metric bolts to fix a fender. And then came back and took some poplar boards and split a, you know, split some pieces off of it and whittled the ends into just plugs. Uh, same poplar that I used for the front of that sandwich guitar that I have yet to finish. Um, and drove them in there with some, you know, tight bond and then went around the edge with some of the sawdust off. When this is dry, I'll cut these off and start working on sanding them moderately level. That will, that will, it won't be perfect. It will end up being finished off with um, glazing putty because I'm definitely going to be painting this. They will not be staining it in any way. Um, and, um, you know,
I did a bunch of measuring and I did a bunch of trial fitting and I did a bunch of measuring on the one strat neck that I do have handy that's in a nice guitar. Um, and I'm going to end up using the original neck on this. I'm not going to try to put a. I'm not going to. It's not going to be that much of a transcender guitar. In fact, to tell you the truth, I've uh, the logistics of changing the scale length and doing. I mean, you know, changing the scale length is easy enough, but then it leaves my pickup routes and are in where I don't want them. And I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going to go back to. Uh, I'm just going to go back to making a. Uh, Tele Paul or whatever it'll be two two single coil pickups uh, two hot single coil pickups actually you know I loaded up now that I'm thinking about it I loaded this up I was going to use this for a build that I another build that I haven't ever that I didn't finish because I took a different direction with it but this is loaded up I these are now these are two samarium cobalt single coils from an old Ibanez this is the bridge pickup from the same old Ibanez and this is a this, I mean, these are great pickups. To tell you the truth, I'm, I'm, uh, I know I'm going to use them in something, <laughs> but I'm not. Uh, they just didn't make it this time. But these two samarium cobalts, I'm going to put one at an angle, you know, at the same angle that the straps and tellies use, and then I'm going to put the other one at, um, you know, just straight in the neck pickup, and see, and see how that works. Okay, now we will try to um, solve this off without making too big a mess. Well, I guess I'll try it from this direction. There we go. Oh, that was easier. See? Oh, see how much nicer? So, and I can see the, yeah, once that actually really dries, I'll pare that off with a chisel best I can, and then sand it the rest of the way down with a block. Hmm. Yep, I know, it's gruesome looking right now, but it won't be too bad when I get through. I've, I've made other Frankenstein guitars, and they're not, and most of them weren't really horrible. Get those single coils, get those Sumerian cobalt single coils in there. And I think, by gosh, we'll have something going on here. We'll see. In any case, y'all be well.